Hey everyone, Danielle Leal here. Welcome back to the Agnet News Hour. There's an event taking place next week at the International Agro Center, and it's going to cover the topics of biochar, carbon credits, new technology, and sustainability efforts for California growers. For today's interview segment, I chat with Robert Kovac, who's the Chief Sales Officer at Pyrec, who's hosting said event. Together we chat why this German-based company found its way to California to talk about biochar. Okay, Robert, today we are on the grounds of the International Agri Center. I'm very familiar with these grounds as I have I live here in Tulare. I also attend the World Ag Expo, which is held here, but this is your first time. But uh, first, I want to get to know a little bit about your company, what you guys do, who you are, where you're based out of, and so forth. Very good. Um, yes, the company is uh, Pyreg. We are headquartered in uh, a city called Dort, Germany. It's about an hour from Frankfurt Airport. Uh, the company was actually founded in 2009. Uh, originally, it was a, a university spinoff. So our founder and CTO, Helmut Gerber, had a research project um, at the University of Applied Sciences in being in Germany. And that led to um, a full-scale development of a pyrolysis machine, and the focus was to take biomass and turn that into biochar. And um, the company, through the last over a decade, has obviously grown. Uh, we're an engineering and machine-building company uh, specializing in these carbonization systems. And um, today we have um, a little over 100 employees. So we've, in the last few years, uh, just in the last two years alone, uh, tripled in, in size due to the market conditions we're seeing. So you are based out of Germany, but you're here in California, and you have something that might be really important to our growers here. Why don't you talk about some of this new technology and what you might be um, talking to growers about at an upcoming event here in Tulare County? Well, first of all, um, biochar itself, which our systems produce over the last few years, has received more and more attention. Why? The first is climate change and the, uh, the ability for biochar to sequester CO2. That's number one. Secondly, is obviously more and more studies each year are focusing on the benefits that biochar brings in regenerative um, agriculture. And then thirdly, because of uh, the green or renewable energy that our systems provide, uh, when you combine those together, what you look for is an area where there's a great need for biochar, where it can be utilized and applied in agriculture. But also, you have to have the biomass itself. And here in California, if you look at the amount, it's, it's an agri agricultural center in the world. And the amount of biomass, that residue from various crops is valuable. And farmers have to look at that as they're growing a crop, but they're also farming carbon. And why is that so important? Because that biochar that can be produced from that biomass is essentially a waste to value proposition and it's part of driving a circular economy. So it is a sustainability, regenerative agriculture point, but there's a financial aspect of it. Mm -hmm. And the financial aspect, last but not least, has grown enormously, enormously, uh, because of carbon credits. Mm -hmm. And now you have an entire exchange where carbon credits are being traded, and those companies, or small farmers, large farmers that are, or it could be uh, biomass producers themselves, they are taking that biochar and they have the ability then to put it onto the exchange and large corporations go on this trading platform and they purchase those carbon credits. Mm -hmm. So if you put together the value of the biochar, the value of the green renewable energy, and the carbon credits together. And then you put that together from an economic standpoint, it also has an extreme package value. And this is one of the reasons why we are here um, in California at the center of agriculture. That's right. So why don't we go ahead and talk about biochar uh, just a little bit. Give me a basic of what it is for maybe a farmer who doesn't quite know what it is. Well, 
maybe the best way to, to describe biochar is what it's not. It's not a fertilizer in itself. It's a soil improver. It's an amplifier. You can think of it as a catalyst. It's a carbon sponge. So everything that has biomass, uh, forms of biomass, they have the carbon dioxide that through photosynthesis, this was captured, right, into the different materials. It can be, you know, green, green waste from trees. When that's burned, that CO2 is released into the atmosphere. When that material rots, again, this is released, the CO2 is released into the atmosphere. However, through pyrolysis, and in our particular case, a, a version of this called, we, we name carbonization, we can take that green waste, that biomass, those nutshells, all of these different forms, and we can carbonize that. And we're doing that in a process in the absence of oxygen, very little oxygen. And through that process, creating that biochar, if you were to take an electric, a microscope and look at biochar, its structure, it looks like a sponge. Mm -hmm. And that sponge is able to hold nutrients, it's able to hold water. So when biochar is placed, for instance, near the roots of plants, it is that amplifier that we talked about earlier, right? It's helping uh, the soil. It's often used as well in regenerative agriculture where per perhaps an area that for years uh, the soil was uh, not performing very well. And then the growers say, what can we do to bring that soil um, health um, up to a level where we can replant? Again, biochar uh, can be used. And there are, there are many studies, but one of the, the, the biggest ones out there, there's a meta study that takes about 1,200 different uh, papers on biochar and it breaks it down into areas. And we'll be talking about that in the symposium where we show what does biochar do and show the data behind it. It's not, uh, you know, sales or wizardry. It's based on data of actual field trials that show what biochar can do to improve crop yields, improve crop quality, and reduce the amount of water consumption, which we know is a very key element here in the state of California.